this week, your predecessor, Michael Bloomberg, decides not to run. You could argue there's not a single human being in the party, in the Democratic Party, who's done more on climate and guns than Mike. And yet, despite all of that, he, with all of his money and all of his political brains around him, all those people, yeah. they all looked at the state of the Democratic Party right now and said, he has no chance to be the nominee. So first of all, you think that's right? 110%. He had no chance to be the nominee. No chance. Right. And because? We're a progressive party more and more that is desperately troubled by the wealth and power concentrated in the hands of 1%. And we know that has to change, and it has to change quickly. So how on earth are you going to nominate the, one of the eight richest men in the world? That is not someone who's going to change that reality. A plutocrat could not win. People are too serious about the need for change right now. Right. So he made the right decision. Absolutely. Is Joe Biden a progressive, or is Joe Biden a moderate? Joe Biden, first of all, a, a very impressive public servant. But I certainly consider him a moderate. So can't be the nominee. I don't think this party is going to choose a moderate. I don't think this party should choose a moderate. Right. If a moderate runs and wins, this very dangerous status quo will right. continue. We have an income inequality crisis that is dangerous and destabilizing. But you have a lot of respect for Joe Biden as a public servant, 100%, as you said, right? But, 100%. But we can say sitting here at this table right now that Joe Biden would not win the de Blasio endorsement. He's a moderate. I, I have a you lot just, of respect you just, for you just him. You've said he's a moderate. You, look, I have a lot of respect for him, but if you say, what does this party need right now? It doesn't need a moderate. What does this country need right now? It doesn't need a moderate. And he's a moderate. And he's a moderate. Okay. 